résoudre le problème. Est-ce que ça résoudrait le problème Vous savez ce qui se passerait en Iran Non. Ben, réfléchissez un peu. من یک برنامه ای را اجرا کردم که خدا آیت الله اینقدر انتظار نداشت در یه مدت به این کوتاهی که شما اشاره کردید چه از من میخوانم؟ هیچ فقط و فقط مسائلی که جناب علی فرمودید این کشتار دو روزه به تمام معنا همون طوری که دیروز گفتم گناهش کردن اون مردمی که تحریک میکنن چرا؟ چون آزادی نبود چون مطبوعات آزاد نبود چون زندانیان سیاسی داشتیم تظاهرات البته می شود. وقتی که یک میلیون آدم روز سه روز پیش از اینجا گذشت خون از دماغ کسی بیرون نیامد ولی 15 نفر دیروز این کار انجام پریروز این کار انجام دادند اینا مأموریت دارند که ایران را به نابودی ببرند خب میبرند دیگه ولی من می ایستم که این کار نشه اگر که بنا باشه که هر کس در مملکت هر چه خواست بگه این دموکراسی ولی وقتی که هر چی خواست بکنه این دیگه آنارشیسم هم نیست هیچ مملکتی قبول نخواهد کرد وقتی که ستاد جاندار برای شما محاصره میکنید جاندار وظیفه داره از خودش دفاع کنه از اسلحهش دفاع بکنه این مملکت جمهوری باشه اسلامی دموکراتیک چه میدونه سلطنتی باشه مستبد باشه فاشیست باشه این مسائل مسائل بنیادی است هیچ کسی میتونه اینا رو قبول کنه And at this point, when the disinformation of decades is gradually being replaced by information, I realize that although what happened in Iran during 1979 is marked as the revolution of Iranians against Mohammad Reza Shah Pahlavi, the events that followed in the months, years, and decades after proved that what happened in Iran during 1979 was nothing but a devolution of a nation against itself. It was not against Mohammad Reza Shah Pahlavi, but against a nation, Iranians of many generations, It was against those servants of the state who had transformed the infrastructure of Iranian society from a primitive one into a healthy and modern nation through their colossal efforts in the shortest time. They were either executed, fled the homeland, or disappeared into oblivion. This devolution was also against the Iranian army, which was dismantled and disgraced. all the commanders eliminated 
leaving the nation open and defenseless for Iraq's invasion. This devolution was against peace on earth. Since it brought an eight-year all-out war, with millions who perished, lost limb, sanity, or loved ones. So it was against all those who mourned and all those who were mourned for. This devolution was against the backbone of any healthy society, the middle class, who are now scattered in every continent through a massive exodus. With numbers in the millions, the remaining part in Iran shrunk now into a tiny slice of the society. It was against students, when the vital core of the learning process in the society was broken, and all the universities were closed by order of a man who claimed all evil came from universities. against the little school kids whose textbooks were changed into some fanatic superstitious fairy tales. It was against the Iranian journalists, writers, poets, artists and musicians who disappeared from public view had to seek hidden shelter in mute or fled abroad to save their lives. It was against actors who never acted again in their homeland, filmmakers who never made a film again, singers who never sang a song again in Iran. یاد ایران به خیر خاک پر سلامتم درد من بی کسیز خاک ایران که نیست سره ای بی سمر در نهایت هم در نهایت هم Female singers whose voice became forbidden This devolution was against honest statement of Iran, who lived and died away from their beloved homeland. Those high-ranked government officials who in exile worked minimum wage jobs to make the ends meet. The same officials accused of stealing and taking millions of dollars with them by the revolutionaries. Their empty hands in faraway lands proved their innocence after all. This devolution was not against the Shah. It was against Iranian generals and officers who made a living by driving cabs in Washington airports. It was against Iranian Zoroastrians, Christians, Jews, Baha'is, even Sunni Muslims who turned overnight into the second-class citizens. It was against Iranian girls who were demoted to a lesser state of half the boys, against women who were beaten by literates for daring to ask for their God-given rights.
against Dr. Farrakhro Parsa, who was riddled with bullets because she was the first female cabinet minister in Iran's history. It was against Iranian scientists who are serving other countries by default. Doctors who left their much in need nation not by desire. It was against members of the Iranian police force who were hunted by ex-criminals that they had put behind bars. This devolution was against thousands of political prisoners executed during the summer of 1988 by direct order of the holy man who had promised the fool's peace and prosperity, most of which were part of groups that had brought him into power. against all who were drowned in smuggler boats while traveling strange seas trying to sneak into other countries seeking shelter against those who sent their young kids out of country to save their lives before they were sent to war and their forced martyrdom and against all those innocent children whose lives were...